Hello boys and girls. Hello mummies and daddies. This is the day that the Lord has made and we rejoice and be glad in it despite the current situation in our nation and the whole world at large. Now this is the third week since uh, schools closed and I must say that we are really, really encouraged uh, by as teachers uh, because you've really sent us a lot of feedback um, on what our children are doing at home. On the assignments that we have sent, the children are doing excellent work and we are really happy about that because we've seen that you, you're giving our children a lot of support even when they are at home. While the WhatsApp broadcast and the email uh, communication is working very well uh, in terms of uh, our interactions with you at home and your child, we would like to upgrade our online uh, learning. Now in this regard, uh, we plan to use Class Dojo. Uh, this is just uh, an educational communication app and website. And so far what we've been able to do, we've been able to create classes for all the children. And we've also uh, managed to invite you to join in. So if you receive an email uh, from Class Dojo requesting or inviting you to, to join, so kindly just accept the, the, the invite and uh, you will be able to see some of the work that we'll have uploaded. So once the child or uh, your child has done the work that we'll have uploaded, kindly send it back, upload it back and send it to the teacher who will be able to assess the work and also give a comment. Now last week we focused on morning jobs. Now this week I would like us to focus on, um, on, on, on shapes. Uh, shapes are, is a topic that all the kindergarten children go through and basically we learn eight shapes and these shapes are the diamond shape, rectangle, square, heart shape, triangle, star, and circle. We do various activities with shapes. Now for example, we can sort and group them according to color, according to size, and according to shape. We can also count the sides of each and every shape. We can also count the corners. Sometimes we thread round the shape and we sing and recite poems and rhymes about the different shapes. Now why do we learn about shapes? Now shapes are everywhere. From the rectangular door to the oval shaped clock. Shapes help our children in communication as they describe objects. For example, a child would say an oval clock. Shapes also uh, enhance their creativity when they draw and paint the different shapes. They learn to move from two-dimensional shapes to three-dimensional figures. Shapes also help children in their pre-writing and pre-reading skills. So parents, as we focus on shapes this week, kindly help your child relate the shapes that we learn here at school and the things and items that you find at home. For example, how many shapes are there in a cup? So help your child identify the very many shapes that you would find in your homes. Now you can do this through a game. There's this game that the children really love and this is how it goes. I spy with my little eye something that is circle in the kitchen. Or I spy with my little eye something that is rectangular in the sitting room. So children will love to do such games and as they do that you will be developing their critical thinking. Boys and girls, 
mummies and daddies, friends of Riara, let's all stay safe. If we do our best, God will surely do the rest.